and welcome back everyone welcome back we hope you enjoyed that break in the brutal osc as we return with the quarterfinals exclamation mark b in the chat as the entirety of the quarterfinals has now begun you know all the round 16 matches did conclude almost in unison and now the quarterfinals is underway and sporting in the top left hand corner of oceanborn we have the south korean zerg player the blue zerg representing diamond gladiators it is shin And spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have some, we have the South Korean Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing Weibo Gaming, WBG. It is Hero. And if you're in the chat, you know what time it is. It is time to get your gamba going. Predictions are now open. Place your bets on who you think will claim the series. Best of luck in the chat. Um, coming into this in the previous rounds, Shin was favored. That is true against Arrow Fire. But here against Hero, this is a little bit more up in the air. I would lean towards Hero. Definitely lean towards Hero. It was last week where we casted Hero versus Shin in a best of five did go to game four. It was it was back and forth, but Hero did take it in the end. Um, but it's also very hard to really commit to that. Um, that was a series in Alima League. For those that tuned in, uh, Alima League was a very intense very intense tournament uh, best of five finals was between shin and hero i do recommend the vods we did cast alima league live but that was also on the ptr right that was on the ptr that was on the new maps that was on the new patch this is on the current patch and on the current map pool so very different dynamic between shin and hero and we'll see how this does unfold but so far gate expand gate expand standard opener here by hero you could argue oh the pylon is exposed the wall is it is it solid the answer is yes okay <laughs> hero does often wall quite like this and he often does tempt the zerg player to be aggressive uh nowadays zerg players do not bite it is just hero things so we can settle in we can settle down Likewise, Hatchigas will open her by Shin, forced to take the unnatural natural, but outside of that, it's just going to be a standard opener overall. Just going to be saturating the bases, settling into towards the mid game, and we'll see uh, what direction our players do take us in. Now, as a reminder, I did mention earlier that Shin is very unorthodox and very aggressive and very hard to read. I stand by that, but Hero can be quite similar as well. He can play standard, but he can also, at the drop of a dime, just go for a gateway explosion, go for a three base all in, and just hammer down the Zerg opponent. Uh, Hero is also very aggressive in this matchup as well. As the first adept does shade across the map. Stargate opening out of here. Likewise, again, no surprises so far. Standard opener from here. Adept does shade between the, ba between the bases. Does deny any kind of transferring of workers. And will threaten to shade into the main. Oh. Does commit. Going for the lings. Gets one. One ling goes down. Nice around here by Shin. Nice stutter stepping with the Lings. Gets extra hits in. Loses a second Ling. Loses a third Ling. But will kill the Adept just barely. The Adept goes down. So that was, I would say, a better trade for Shin. Meanwhile, I assumed it was going to be an Oracle. It is not. It's going to be a Void Ray opener instead. Now, with a Void Ray opener, the goal here is to shut down the Overlords, to deny vision, and to deny scouting, and to get into some hidden tech. Now, this could be a standard follow up. It could be Void Ray into Oracle into a third, or it could be Void Ray into Oracle into a second. Stargate into Sky Toss. Could be into a fast Twilight Council into Glaive Adepts. Could be a delayed expansion. We'll see. We'll see if it's delayed or if it's on time. So far, the expansion is going to be thrown down. Hero, he shuts down the Overlord, and he does go for his standard timing on the third. So he will expand. We'll keep an eye on the Twilight Council timing after this as well, as the Void Ray is looking and hunting for more Overlords. There's a Twilight Council. It was thrown down quite early, but okay, it's going to be the Forge follow-up. Hero is not going into Glaives. This does feel like Blink. As the Void Ray does threaten the natural, Queens are in position. So far, so good. Shin is holding on. Void Ray rotates around. Uh, Shin does invest quite heavily into these Lings, and we'll see if he can try and threaten the third. But for the most part, especially with the arrival of an Oracle, Hero should be okay. But there's more Lings in production. Links in production. As Shin, I imagine, will soon move out. Plus one melee is on the way. Safety Roach Warren. With plus one melee in production, it looks like Shin may opt to go for faster Hydras. So far, the Oracles are maintaining map control. They shut down two of those creep tumors. Nice pickoffs here by Hero. Very nice pickoffs. Get ties on the tech. 
Shin's still joining up. And meanwhile, Hero is indeed going for plus one and blink. He's going for a gateway explosion. That's going to be a six, sorry, a five gate setup. Didn't realize that he had not, he had skipped out in the second gateway. So five gate setup by Hero. Void Ray going for the fourth. And does he force a cancel? He does. Very strong pick up here. He's looking for another cancel. Can he get it? Up. Oh, goes to the queen. Ah, the queen is exposed. Queen goes down. The, the hatchery as well for the second time. Ay, ay, ay. That's two cancels on the hatchery. A queen and a drone as well. Massive pick offs here for Hero. Shin going to be stuck on three bases that much longer. And now taking his gases. I mean, he has to spend his money somehow. And behind this Hero just building up his stalker count. Vordry comes in again. Oh, my God. But here we go. Now we have two queens coming in. And Shin should be able to hold on. And he has been contained on three bases. Lair is now finishing up. Does Shin go for Roach Speed or Hydras? For now, does have a massive surge of Lings moving out. Okay, it is going to be Hydras behind this. Lings are moving out across the map. And what can they get done? Shield batteries are on the way. Lings going for the Adepts. Ah, but there are Oracles to punish. Lings, they have to back off. They do not get the Adepts. And here it can now push. It can now move out. You may be thinking, like, can Hero sustain himself with this army? He has no war prison to reinforce. He doesn't, but he has oracles. He has oracles, which is the next best thing. That means that these links can't do anything. The links they cannot engage if they try to, uh, they're going to be punished by the pulsar beams. And the win condition for Hero denied the fourth. He's denied it twice already. He's going for it for a third time. Stage drive gets thrown down. Does connect with the links. Ooh, massive connection. Stalkers, they come in to reinforce. Oracles, they do get dragged away by the Queens. Which means Stalkers aren't going down. Oh, this is not a clean trade for Hero. And it looks like Shin, can he barely hold on? Ah, he cannot. He cannot. The base still goes down. But Shin, he trades well against the Stalkers, is what I will say. Again, Hero, he had a bit of miscontrol with the Oracles. Ideally, you want to pull the Oracles back out of range of the Queens and hold position them over the over the Stalker so they can just go ham on the links. So Hero had some miscontrol. Shin still lost the expansion, but Shin now has momentum. He killed so many Stalkers and he wants them. He wants more. And exactly how many Stalkers went down? 13. Oof. 13 Stalkers did fall and even more almost getting picked off. How many Stalkers are left? 15. So basically the Stalker count was cut in half. Imagine the Stalker army, but doubled. And Hero would be in a winning, winning position. Hero is still trying to maintain map control. Shin, he's stabilizing somewhat. Still doesn't have a fourth. Like, the fourth base is still a brutal loss for Shin. But his main army, it's it's threatening. It can hold the turn. Meanwhile, Hero taking his own fourth. Even faster than the fourth base of Shin. So Hero is maintaining an economic lead. But bleeding out Stalkers is, is quite expensive. Here, he has to be careful. Let's respect the Hydras. Shin, does he go for the Lurker Den? For now, there it is. A Lurker Den has been thrown down. A Hive is halfway done. But now Shin is stuck on Ling Hydra. And is working towards Lurkers. Uh, Shin actually doesn't have any Lings, though. Uh-oh. Uh, without Lings, the Hydra's exposed. Decent big here by Hero. Trying to drag the army into the stasis. There is an Overseer, though, and Shin, he does. Hold on. Does pull away. Ooh, we'll lose the fifth, though. Uh, oh, God. Base is denied. Shin getting saturated on four bases. So is Hero. Hero is so far still maintaining map control. Lane's going for a run by. Hero going for his tech of choice. He is not going into Colossus Disruptor. I assume he would, but no, he's working towards Storm. So Archive's on the way. Trying to get into Storm. Shin rotating around. Gets eyes on the now fifth base of Hero. Which again is faster than the fifth of Shin. 
So economically, here is in a good position, but again, when it comes to the quality of the army, lesser. Here, he's got purely a gateway army, and meanwhile, here come the lurkers. The lurker kind of, the lurker kind of slowly building up, and here doesn't have the best answer to lurkers, not yet. That is a lot of lunkers. Nice stasis. Stasis goes off. Hero likewise blinking back, using the choke point to his advantage. A lot of links go down. But Shin is still building up more lurkers. Gets one of the oracles. Nine storms on the way. Shinny does have an overseer poised to go into the natural or into the main. Zella Rombay does run into the lurkers, but uh, they're not quite in position. They're trying to keep up. Force further back into the main. Shin is trying to break out. And again, here he kind of pushes into the lurkers. Not yet. Uh, he has no storm. He's trying to work towards the motor production. That uh, fleet beacon just now begins. It's a very late fleet beacon. Uh, I'm not so sure if, if he can get into that in time. Night Storm is denied. 11 drones went down in the main. That was a lot of economic damage. But now we have a Night Storm in the main. And Shinny's pushing through. Pushing into the fifth. Shield by reason going down. The Lunkers, they're pushing in. And again, Hero still needs more time. Because some of them late to borrow. Hero just going for a counterattack instead. Trying to commit to a base trade. Bold move. Ah, but there are lurkers back at home to defend. There are lurkers everywhere. Lurkers back at home across the map. Nidus Worm uh, did finish for a second, but was cleaned up. But Hero will at least get the expansion. Oh, it does recall. Just in time. Doesn't lose anything. Doesn't lose immortals. Doesn't lose any Archons. I would say that Shin still has the better army. As he is moving out. But here he has begun Skytos. Two more Stargates on the way, plus one air attack, and the Mothership is in production as well. But again, Hero still needs more time to actually get that Skytos going. Shinny knocks down those rocks, pushes through the center, runs into the main army, and Zellarame moving out towards the right-hand side. Nothing at home to defend! Uh oh There's nothing back at home. And Shin is going to get caught with his pants down. Zealous, they go for the fourth. Does Hero see the fifth? He doesn't know. Doesn't see the fifth. He could have gone for it. 100% he could have gone for this base. And now he's checking. Now he knows. But Shin was given time to respond. Hero is still trading well. Gets Hydras. Gets into the mineral line. Oh my god. Spine shots are brutal. Shin pushing in. You see here trying to come in from behind, but there are just so many lurkers stopping him. Shin, he may have lost 10 drones, but he does hold back at home. Likewise, you can see here trying to drag the army within lurker range. Oh my god, the blinks up! He, he's crazy! He blinks in! So many stalkers go down! But there is the revelation. Here, he will still clean this up, just barely. Oof. Yeah, the immortal barely survives. Ninus goes down. But Hero, he lost 20 probes in the process. Ah. Lost the entire mineral line here at the fourth. And Shin, he smells blood in the water. He wants to go for the kill. No detection! Ah. The cloak. <laughs> if there was an overseer, then Shin, he could have taken down the Archon and the Immortal at least. But Shin has to back off. Rebuilding his bases. Still stuck on Hydra Lurker Ling. I mean, there's not that much in the sky. There's only three Tempest. So this kind of army can still work. On top of that, where Storm? Storm is just now starting. Ah, uh, but Shin is licking his wounds. Shin, he's backing off, which means it looks like Storm should finish. As it is halfway done. Hero moves out. Now, I said earlier that, oh, it's okay. He only has three Tempest. Now he's up to six. Six Tempest for Hero. That's a lot of Tempest. Hero rotating around. Gets a couple of revelations up. 
Yeah, these, uh, this high tempest count can just have its way with the hydras. The vipers are on the way. Oh my god, the storms are brutal! Ah, the storms and GG gets cold. It's just too much. And Hero will take game number one. Whew. GG. Oh my god. Again, Shin, he had his moments. He did have his moments in that game. There were definitely moments where he had momentum, where he was ahead. Um, but they were a little bit fewer and far between um, the more passive, more defensive Shin was. I mean, here he was able to stabilize. I, mean, I say passive and defensive, but there were some key moments where Hero counterattacked and did kill expansions, did get mineral lines, made sure that Shin was not comfortable back at home, made sure that Shin was on a low economy, and that Shin could not sustain himself. Towards the end there, Shin, he ran out of steam. And with that, GG. GG, well played. Hero does take the first game, and do we get an ace match, or does it all end here and now in game number two? I'm hoping for an ace match. I'm hoping we can get the most out of these two players, but again, the pressure is now on Shin. Pressure is on. And we have our answer for... Oh, oh, we have map number two ready. Uh, it is going to be on Alkyana. Let us go. No shot. Oh my god. <laughs> I just glanced over to my other monitor and I was not expecting this, but there's a massive upset in the bracket. Unless it was misreported. Trap. He took down Clem 2 0. Clem versus Max Max is going to be denied. I mean, usually when that happens, it's, it's, it's Max Max going down, but this time it's Clem. I mean, again, Trap, he has been improving so much over the past couple of months. Relatively recently coming back from the military, and yeah, very impressive stuff. Trap popping up. But uh, we can get into that later on, as uh, for now, we're focusing on our on our series here. Spawning in the top right hand corner of Alkyone, we have our blue Zerg player representing Gaiman Gladiators down in the series. We'll see if we can bounce back. It is a Shin. And spawning in the bottom left hand corner, we have as well, we have the South Korean Brodos player, the Red Brodos representing Weibo Gaming, WBG. Wunamas, one more game is all he needs to, to take the series. It is Hero. Shout out to SOS. <laughs> we got settling in. Here we go. But again, crazy results in that bracket and. Oh boy, now that, I mean, that opens things up. That does open things up quite heavily here for who can take the entire championship, the entire weekly. Oh boy, could go, I, I could go either way. Here we go. As a hero is going for his gate expand, as standard opener. Standard opener out of Hero. Likewise, Shin just going hatch gas pool. So for the time being, everything's looking as it should. Uh, last time we saw Shin on this map, he did rush into the gold, but not this time. There is no gold base. Shin going for a much more standard start. I mentioned before during the Arrow Fire series that typically if players like Shin or Dark or anyone, any Zerg player tries to take the gold, uh, players, Korean Protoss players like Hero, Trap, and Classic are so quick to punish, so quick to shut it down. So Shin doesn't even try. Does not even try. So we are just going to be saturating our bases. It's going to be a Stargate opener out of Hero. Stargate into, I would imagine, Oracle. I mean, I say that last game was a Voidway opener, true was a void ray and i mean that was a very strong start for hero winding it back a little bit i mean how could we forget remember in game one hero he opened up void ray and he canceled the third base three times uh twice with the void ray and then he got a kill later on with the with the uh, with the blink stalker follow-up it was insane just how much momentum hero had early on eventually if you remember though hero did have a bit of miscontrol with his oracles and he did lose too many stalkers so then it turned into more of a back and forth game state but I mean, we'll see if Shin can hold on to his fourth base this time. I'm sure he can. Especially because this time it is an Oracle. Okay, Oracle first, not a Void Ray. So it is going to be an Oracle opener out of Hero. To harass across the map. We'll see if Shin can keep up. 
does have a server lord placed behind the natural, poised to go in. Likewise, the links are keeping up with the Adept. Creep is spreading. Shin going for his third. And again, the next phase of this game should be the Oracle Defense. Meanwhile, a very interesting expansion location. Hero expanding linearly towards the north. Very interesting. So usually, um, Protoss players that would take in, even Hero would take the Triangular Third. They go for the third base for a couple of different reasons. One, there's a ramp, right? There's a ramp here on the right-hand side to help fortify yourself, to help wall off, and to help defend against any kind of wall in. Likewise, the would-be fourth base here on the right-hand side is also very secure. Uh, Zerg players have to take some extra steps to knock down rocks, to mine through minerals, to actually gain access to the side of the map. And it can be hard to kind of rotate between the two sides um, as the aggressor. So for Hero to expand towards the left is very interesting to me and very unusual. I wonder what the purpose is there. Twilight Council gets placed. Double Oracle into the main. There's the Forge, so it shouldn't be charged. Once again, leaning towards Blink. Oracle's ahead. Is, oh my god, five drone kills. Crazy. D calm down. <laughs> Here he dives into the main. I mean, there was a spawn position and one queen. Despite that, Hero doesn't lose a single Oracle. He gets five drones across the map. One more Oracle here towards the left-hand side. Hero is not done. Hero is not done. And Shin, once again, he goes for a plus one melee. There is no Roach Warren for Shin. It looks like Ling Hydra. I say Ling Hydra. Technically, if Shin takes extra gases, it could be Ling Muta. Could be Spire play. As Yorko gets two more drones. There's seven in total. Oh! Yorko takes some extra hits, but does get away. Meanwhile, Ling's they check the third, but last here is in position. He has Stalkers, he has Adepts, he has a Shield Battery, and an Overcharge. Here is fine back at home. And again, building up and getting into his own Blink Stalkers. Now here, he does scout the fourth base of Shin. Oh! But we'll see if Hira can do anything about it. Still getting more drone kills. Gets another three workers. Ooh, does not fully get away. One Oracle finally goes down. But look at the efficiency. Look at the trades here. Twelve drones and six things for one Oracle. That is well worth it for Hira. I mean, sure, he would have liked to have kept the Oracle alive. But still, a, a better trade for the Protoss. Behind this here is Walling of. Oh my god, that's a gateway explosion. Hero has four gates back at home and four more on the way. Gases are not being taken. This looks like a three base all in. This does look like a three base all in from Hero. As I mean, with this kind of setup, he does have some very nice SimCities to defend. So, eight gateways plus one. Blink Stalker, Robo's on the way. I would imagine that's for the War Prism to reinforce across the map. And here, he's soon to move out. So gateways are just now finishing up. Oh, my apologies. Um, We do see Hero attacking, and he takes his gases. So my apologies, the gases are being taken, which means Hero is taking up, which means Hero will most likely take a fourth. Ah, but the prism is still on the way. Hmm. Interesting. War prism is still on the way. I mean, Hero does want to be active on the map. But how committed is he going to be? I guess for me, I'm still waiting for the fourth base. I'm still waiting for a Nexus. As here, he has yet to throw one down. That Temple Archives might just be for reinforcing Archons. Ah, no, this plus two on the way, charge as well. Here is rotating. Clearing up a lot of creep. Shin throughout all this has been taking up. It's going to be Ling Hydra into Lurker, but Shin's drone count is very low. Up of the wall! Uh, the wall is not a wall, it's wide open. Lings, they flood into that, so they force a recall. Yeah, massive recall here for Hero. Maybe Hero, he wanted to move out. And he's expanding linearly. Taking the fourth? I mean, I guess the advantage here... Ooh, the advantage here is that the fourth base has the high-yield gas geyser. True. But just a very interesting expansion pattern here from Hero. He's expanding away from his opponent. And he's going to be forcing more awkward trades as a result, or more awkward fights. Lings, they go for the surround, but alas, they don't quite get it. Lings, once again, they hit the natural. Recalls on cooldown. Uh-oh. 
Okay, cool. Liz on cooldown. Lanes, they do flood in. Don't got much damage yet. Oh, no, nah, here is fine. <laughs> here, he had some warpins available. Cannon did finish, and here he will clean up these links without too much issue. They will get a pylon. Here is keeping up. Pylon survives. Fleet beacons on the way. Stargates, Shin scouts. He does confirm the Sky Toss. It's going to be Sky Toss from Hero. See, Hero just taking up into a longer game state. Again, Hero, I do believe that he wanted to be more aggressive and more active, but these Ling Rambais have kept him busy. And that means that Shin gets away with Lurker Tech. Now, Shin's droning has been very awkward, is what I will say. Like, it, it's taken him a while to properly drone up. Because of that, the army supplies are very comparable. Shin hasn't been able to max out, not yet. But he has Lurkers. And Lurkers should be enough to survive. Oof. Storm gets forced, forced out. Once again, another Storm. Oh my god. Oh, that's a kill! Ah, it's a kill, not a cancel on the gold. Here he's popping up. Slips in on the right-hand side. Slip in. Night is across the map. He's going to force a reaction out of Hero. He's racing back home. Again, Shin just doing everything he can to buy time. Lurker upgrades on the way. Oh, uh, Shin commits. Uh-oh. Spine shots go up. They get, like, two stalkers. Not ideal. That was how many lurkers? That was four lurkers going down. Shin is maxing out. I did mention earlier that Shin, he saw the tech, he saw the Twilight Council, sorry, he saw the Fleet Beacon, he saw the Stargate, but uh, he has no indication of that. I mean, there's no Spire. Where is the Spire for Shin? Without it, I mean, we could see a repeat of game one. Where Hero embraces Tempest and then Shin doesn't have an answer. There's the defensive warp in. Ah, just one Stalker and one Cannon. Ah, it is enough, just barely. The confidence from Hero. <laughs> the one stalker. He knows. Lurker run right towards the left hand side. Hero is in position. Does have his his army split up. Does have some units ready. Oh, meanwhile, Shin gets one Tempest. Very nice speaker. Yeah, now we get the Spire on the way. It looks like Shin did not click on the buildings earlier. So even though Shin got into the main, he did not realize what was being built. Now here he's getting ready for the surround. He's collapsing on the army. Shinny has to get the hell out of here. He has to get out, and he will. Does get away. Nidus into the main. Uh oh. Hero's not in position. Hero, he doesn't realize. Yeah, late response, late reaction. Ling's hydras and lurkers bust in, but there's the recall. Yeah, lurkers a little bit late. Oh, oh my god, the storms are insane. <laughs> storms connect. Uh, the ground army struggles, though. We get the contamination on the Nexus. Another storm on the Hydras. Hero will clean this up, but uh, this was a brutal trade. Hero losing two Immortals, losing two High Templar. This ground army did struggle there. And now the Spire is done. And Shin has a decent economy. He's on 87 workers. He has the gold base, taking extra gases. Corruptor production should be on the horizon. And more importantly, I should say, we should be seeing upgrades. Specifically, air upgrades. We should soon be on the way. For Shin. But now he's still fixated on Ling Hydra Lurker. I believe Shin has no Vipers. Yep, zero Vipers for Shin. Trying to brute force this instead. Meanwhile, how many High Templar is that? Ten? Ten High Templar? Ten Storms as the first. There's nine left. <laughs> oh my god. Meanwhile, Ling Rambai does knight the fifth. Temperature's going up. And Ling Rambai gets cleaned up as there is a zealot warp in. Likewise, another Ling Rambai towards the fourth, but there are plenty of cannons. Cannons are getting surrounded. There's the overcharge, defensive warp in. Hero does not turn around. Any defense. Hero for now, he does defend. 
getting the lurker. Zaz getting another lurker, and you can see Shin. Economically here, he's struggling. Doesn't have a bank. He's burning through that bank. Slow zone here on the army. Lings once again. They go for a counter attack. They go for the run by massive storms. Raptors they do get the mothership at least, and the Ling Rambai is getting to the mineral line. And Shinny has done it. He finally does the joy. He breaks into the mineral line. Probes are going down. But what about the main fight? Ah, uh, you can see Shin. He's he's starved out. Like he's barely barely able to produce anything. He's squeezing out a couple of corruptors, a couple of hydras. Shin, he does need extra gases here. I mean, it's a very gas-intensive army. So expensive to bleed out hydras and replace them with corruptors here. And here is going to be the first to max out. Uh, replaces his fifth base. A little bit off-center, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. He doesn't need it on center. It's fine. <laughs> oh. As Lings get caught out. Better trade for Hero. Again, Hero's about to max. Shin is still recovering, but he has a massive wave of Corruptors. 16 Corruptors for Shin. The ground army is lacking, though. Only five Lurkers, three Hydras. I want to say that I favor Hero in the next fight, but it will come down to the engagement. If the Corruptors can get in position, if they can get on top of those Tempests, then they can trade well. That's a big if. Corruptors, they're massing up. Up, oh, going for the dive! Oh my god, that was a brutal storm. Lings is trying to get on top of the High Temple. Once again, storms, they zone away the Corruptors. So many storms! That was, what, three storms? And there's still, I want to say, seven left. Yeah, just perpetual storms. Oh my god, the Corruptors, they melt! They sit in the storms, and here he will overwhelm. The air army does nothing. The Corruptors crumble, and here he's done it. Did he lose a single Tempest this game? Two. Okay, two Tempests went down. One of them to the Hydras. One to the Corruptor. And here he's snowballing out of control. GG gets called. Hero will take the series at two to zero. GG. GG, well played hero. He will claim the series, will advance on. My condolences to Shin. Again, it was a very intense series, definitely. But we did see that Shin, it took him a little bit too long to realize what was going on, to get ready for the Skytoss transition. He was stuck on Hydra Lurker for a very long time. And he didn't. He wasn't able to accomplish much with it. He wasn't able to take fights. He wasn't able to take bases. Um, he was one step behind it tech-wise and eventually was overwhelmed even though he was working towards corruptors towards the end they were zero zero corruptors and again he didn't have the best gas income to sustain the losses he was taking and to afford a remax on corruptor so with that gg well played hero will advance on and we have our first semifinals ready